This is how to create a stop motion photography cinemagraph in Photoshop. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop with no document open. You can just go up to File, Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. Now this uh, tutorial is going to assume that you've already taken your stop motion photographs and you have them in order on a file or in a folder on your computer. So once I go up to File, Scripts, and Load Files into Stacks, this is going to come up, Load Layers, I'm going to click Browse. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose all of my stop motion photographs. So I'm just going to click on the first one, hold shift and click on the last one, and then just press open, and then press OK. So what you're going to see happen is you're going to see all of your photographs open up as layers in your layers panel. Okay. Now, what I want to happen in this stop motion cinemagraph is I want just the movement in the cinemagraph to be right here. So I actually made it look like the lemon was spinning by itself. So I want me to be in the background totally still. Okay. So an unnatural still background with a surreal uh, piece of the image moving all right so this first photograph is the very first one I chose that's just me in it and that's the one I'm going to choose my, as my background so I'm going to click on the layer right below that one hold shift and then click on the very very bottom layer to select all of them except that top one then press command G to group them and now I have my still layer and then I have the part of the animated GIF, the cinemagraph that is going to have the movement in it. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the background image of, of me sitting there, the part that I want still. And I'm going to go ahead and press L to use the lasso tool. And I'm just going to draw a really rough selection around this lemon. And I actually have to inverse the selection in order to create a layer mask that shows the animation. So I'm going to use the shortcut Shift Command I to flip the selection. And then I'm going to apply a layer mask to that still layer by clicking the layer mask button. Okay. And now if you look over in your layers panel, you actually see a layer mask attached to that still image of me. And the black part is going to be the see through area that's going to see through down to the animated stop motion. Okay. I'm going to press command D to deselect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the layer mass thumbnail and just refine the edge just a little bit. So I'm going to go to ref beside refine, I'm going to click mask edge. And I'm going to smooth it. I'm going to feather it a bit. And I'm going to shift the edge inward just a little bit. That looks good. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that the mask is as close to the, the, the radius or the spinning part of the lemon as well as the shadow as possible. I can always adjust this, but I like to do things with the layers panel as far as editing and adjustments go before I bring them into my animation. So. I'm going to turn that off so I can just see it a little better. Now I'm going to go in and click on the thumbnail layer, press B, and then just do a few adjustments just to tighten up these edges just a little bit. And I'm going to press X to switch to black because I see a little bit of the lemon coming through there. And press X again just to clean up that edge. And I want to make sure that my brush is 0% hardness, just so it's nice and clean on the edges. And that looks fine. All right, let me turn that group back on. OK. So now we're ready to go into our timeline. If you don't have timeline opened up, you can go to Window, Timeline, 
and this will pop up. You can click create frame animation. If you don't have create frame animation, click this little arrow beside of it and you'll see uh, create frame animation pop up and then just click the button. This will pop up and you're going to go over to this very, very small option button. Click it and press make frames from layers. That's going to throw every layer that's over here in your layers panel over here as a frame. Okay. And let's zoom out so you can see what's going on. And so I'm just going to play it really quick so you can see what's going on. All right, cool. I'm going to change this word once to forever so it plays forever. Press spacebar. Let's see what it looks like. So the last frame is my background one. I'm just going to click on that one and press the trash can to delete it. I'm going to press spacebar again to see how it looks. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to my options button in the timeline right here. Click it. Press select all frames. And then I'm going to go back up to my background image that's been layer masked. And I'm just going to click the visibility eyeball beside of it. And what that is going to do is that's going to make it show up on every single frame now. And I'll press spacebar. And it should have everything except where the layer mask is created moving. Or I'm sorry, still. So all this is completely still. And the only part that's moving is where the layer mask is. Now, there's not really anything else I want to adjust. I'm just going to zoom in and check my animation here to make sure it looks good. There's a little bit of movement um, that I could adjust with the layer mask a little bit more. That's really a pre-production thing. I need to make sure that I'm more careful when I'm shooting. Um, but that is how to create a stop motion cinemagraph. Um, using layer mask in Photoshop very easily and very quickly. When I'm done, I just go up to File, Export, Save for Web. I need to make sure that this says GIF right here. I need to make sure that my file size is a little bit lower, 50 or 75%, something like that. That one was already a small engine. I'm going to change it to 75 this time. And I need to make sure looping says forever, and it does. I'm going to press Save. And I'm going to call this um, stop motion cinemagraph lemon. Press save. I'm going to go find that image. There it is. I'm going to right click on it, control click on a Mac, press open with Google Chrome. And there is my stop motion cinemagraph.